This is part one of the tutorial and on this video we're going to focus on getting the temperature to the screen monitor. To follow along with this tutorial you will need a breadboard, jumper wires, a resistor, which you can pick any volume but it is recommended to have a volume close to the one of the thermistor. You will also need the thermistor and finally an Arduino. First we'll need to insert the Arduino Nano onto the breadboard. In our circuit, R1 will be our chosen resistor and R2 will be the resistance of the thermistor. We will set up a voltage divider to get the value of R2. The current that goes through our circuit is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. We also know that the equivalent resistance of the circuit is R1 plus R2. Therefore, the current is equal to the voltage applied divided by R1 plus R2. V2 is the voltage going through R2, which is equal to the resistance times the current. We can now get the formula for V2, which is R2 times voltage to the source, divided by R1 plus R2. Now let's wire our circuit. First connect the resistor from the plus 5 volt from the Arduino to an open rail on the breadboard. Then connect the thermistor in series and connect a wire back to Arduino ground. Finally, connect a wire from the junction of the two resistors to analog pin zero of the Arduino. This will allow us to read the voltage V2. Let's rearrange our previous formula to make it easier for us to calculate the resistance. To get the temperature, I decided to use the following equation. I decided to use this formula because looking at my data sheet for this thermistor, I couldn't find anything to give me the temperature. However, I managed to find the values for B, R0 and T0 in my data sheet. Therefore, this equation is the best we can use. With all this information in mind, it is time to connect the Arduino to your computer and run the Arduino IDE software. Now the only thing left to do is to run the following code, links in the description. Once you're done uploading the sketch to your Arduino, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 9600 and you should see the temperature displayed on the monitor. In the next part, we will try to incorporate a display and turn our project into an Internet of Thing by adding the ESP8266. But that's it for now, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.